with the residents here, it's been a huge, huge honor to be able to sit in this position over the winter term. Mm -hmm. And of course, I, I, I'm a real believer, of course, that, that residencies that have been created in the memory or in the names of, um, of writers, really it's, a, in a way, you're, you're being given the opportunity to kind of slip into their shoes a little bit. Carol Shields, of course, wrote so much about Winnipeg. And I think, you know, Winnipeg is one of those cities where sometimes the rest of Canada still feels that we don't have anything interesting to say or useful to say or intelligent or, or wonderful to say. And of course we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we are still learning that as Winnipegers. And, and of course, Carol Shields was one of the people who, who wrote about this city in really unapologetic ways and said, well, this is, this is the place where the stories happen, where these stories, they happen in this place in these ways. Um, and I just think it, it was one of the things, she was certainly one of the writers here that really opened up a space for, for us to tell our own stories in our own ways. That, that's one of the amazing things that I've found with the Carol Shields residency, mm -hmm. is that there's been so much regional writing. Mm -hmm. Where you go, people will bring you the geography, people will bring you the land, people will bring you the stories out of that geography. And it almost becomes this this kind of entity unto itself, a whole kind of world of, of literature, of a, that little part of Canadian literature. There is no there is no other community, right? There is no one else creating a writing community or a creative community. We have to create it ourselves every day. I, I find that that with this particular residency, there's been a real uh, kind of reciprocal energy that's gone back and forth, which is very wonderful insofar as that whole creative process. I mean, when you're talking writing and you're talking poetry and you're talking prose, every day you're meeting with people and you're talking about work, I mean, of course, you it find just yourself... the world that you live. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It, it, it completely becomes the world that you're living in. You spoke earlier about the people early in your career who help sort of gently guide you and shift you and help you go to the places where you need to go. And I had that experience too. Um, uh, I think all of us who end up anywhere had that experience of, of someone, someone's plural along the way helping us navigate some of these worlds, including our own inner creative worlds. And I think that I feel so fortunate and so uh, lucky to have experienced that. And I think, you know, uh, it's it's almost a, a sacred responsibility or a trust that, that we need to carry on as well. And I, I, I love having the opportunity to try to be one of those kinds of, of energies or forces or influences on other people too.